What's up guys, Joe at Momentum Works. Today I've got a really cool turbo to show you guys, just released by Zeki. Let's jump right into it, stay tuned. Right off the bat, there's gonna be a couple things that are clearly evident. One, this turbo has a billet wheel. Two, it's a Caterpillar style compressor cover. And three, it's got a wastegate actuator on it. This is an internally gated turbo. What we're looking at here, guys, is basically the famous Quad Zero or 78 millimeter 132 turbo, but with the wastegate on it. And this isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea. Uh, there's a lot of guys that like the non-wastegated version, and it's been a super hot seller, so we know that it works. But we often get calls from guys looking for a wastegated 132 housing, because if you know, the only wastegated housing really available for these turbos, these 96 millimeter turbine wheel turbos, is a 165. So this is a first to market from Zeki uh, with this 132 gated housing, and it's really pretty cool. Let's pop the cover off and jump into some of the features and benefits. But guys, like I said, basically this is all gonna match our current 78 132. It's just a different exhaust housing because now it's gonna be a 132 waste gated instead of non waste gated. All right, guys, so as I mentioned previously, this turbo is almost identical to our 78132 S410 SX. Same cover, same cartridge, same wheel, same turbine shaft, same bearing housing, everything. The only thing that's different is this exhaust housing, which is a wastegated 132. Now, this is an industry first, and there's gonna be guys that are like, well, Borg Warner already makes our waste graded housing. They do, but it's a 165, which is huge, and you're never gonna spool it. And then some other guys are gonna go, they make a waste gated 132. They do, but it's for the 91 millimeter turbine wheel that comes on the 177148, not the 96 millimeter wheel that everyone and their mother uses on every cat build and Detroit and converted ISX and everything else because it's a great high flowing, cheap wheel to use. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So it's the same things you can expect. Billet wheel, 360 degree thrust bearing. The only thing different is this wastegate. And I know the next question you're waiting to ask is why would you even bother with a wastegated housing? Well, me personally, I would go with the regular non-wastegated 132, but there are customers, there's clientele that really want the wastegate for that added protection. You know, they're afraid that they're gonna overspool. And for those customers, this is a great alternative. It's also a great alternative for those customers that are running the truck a little bit hotter than what a 132 should really be doing. You know, that th they're risking overspooling the turbo, but they don't want to jump up to a 145 because they don't want to lose that low end spool that the 132 provides. So something like this housing would really be a benefit there because you get that quick spool up that the 132 gives you on the bottom end, but you wouldn't have to worry about overspooling or overspeeding and snapping the shaft because this wastegate's going to open and it's going to drop you down. Let's talk about the specs of what PSI this gate seems to be opening at. pressure to simulate boost pressure that would be reading off of the compressor cover. The gate is starting to open at 29 pounds and is maxed out at 38 pounds. And I'm sure there'll be 17 people in the comments telling me that I did this testing wrong, but we needed some baseline data. So here it is. Uh, and then after that, I decided to you know do something a little silly, insert picture here, um, from my days back in Mexico on Thursday nights as a juvenile when I learned about manual boost controllers. <laughs> and i decided that we would try that here and when we threw boost controller on it um 
in the stock position on the boost controller, fully closed, it added enough restriction to get us to where the gate didn't start to open till 34 pounds and maxed out at 42. And then if you really wanted to party, you could crank that wastegate a little tighter uh, to get even more boost pressure out of this turbo. But at that point, you'd probably start running it outside of its map. So why do we care? Well, first and foremost, by putting the manual boost controller in there, we got to control the boost ramp a little bit better. So we started holding boost pressure, whereas with the stock wastegate, it started to bleed off at 29 pounds. And then as far as peak boost, <coughs> if for whatever reason you need a little bit of extra boost pressure, depending on what elevations you are running, by running a manual boost controller on this size turbo with an internal wastegate, you can control boost pressure depending on if you were at a higher elevation or things like that. It basically just gives you a little bit more adjustability, which is great. So in closing, I think the 78132 is a great turbo non-wastegated, but if you're looking for a little bit more adjustability, with the manual boost controller, or if you're just looking to run a little bit of a safer turbo that has a wastegate on it so you don't have to worry about overspeed, this is a great option, guys. Um, so we're gonna be playing with this turbo a lot, doing different things to it. Uh, playing with that manual boost controller was the first thing we've done. And while we're not selling them that way, I mean, you could definitely do it to the turbo yourself if you want. You could kind of kiss the warranty goodbye. Uh, but we're thinking about, you know, kind of playing with it to see if we can get a boost controller that's a little bit less aggressive so that we can control the ramp up of boost, but also limit peak boost pressure so we don't have to worry about overspeed. Guys, I've rambled on enough. Um, really happy about this turbo. We're going to have them on the website this afternoon. So if you're interested, you can buy them. I don't know what the price point's going to be, but they will be on the website at that price point. So remember, this is the 78 millimeter S410 SX that is world famous for the Caterpillars, but now with a wastegate on it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave the comments below. Shoot me an email. I'll see you later. Good night, San Francisco.